Mikhail, 2 0 defeat against Dagenham. What's your thoughts on the performance? I think the boys gave it that all, especially in the second half. You know, um, put crosses in the box, challenging better, second balls. But again, they're a decent side and um, we should take the positives out of it. They had two chances, they scored both of them. So I think we just need to be more aggressive and win the opponent's box and some of them chances were going back in the net. I think for us, obviously, you look at the, the chance they scored in the first half. Yeah. They scored two goals, you know, they've had that clinical edge. Maybe in the second half we mm -hmm. could have taken those and for yourself as a striker, you know, yeah. you want to be scoring them and, you know, next week maybe it will come again. Yeah, I think, look, they've played a 1-2, they've scored two basically the same goals. Um, a 1-2 and then they pretty much sliced it and but it's gone in sort of thing. So. We just got to take the positives out of the game. That's not going to happen um, every week. But again, we've gone up against a good Dagenham side who are on form, who are doing really well this season. And um, we, we didn't make it easy for them at all. Second half, again, we had everything to equalise, even maybe get the winner. But it just, just didn't happen, unfortunately. Of course, it felt like in the first half we took a little while to get going. And then yeah. the second half, we are much more like ourselves. What was the message at half-time? Just to be... To trust ourselves more, be more um, on the front foot instead of the back foot. Um, first half, a lot of second balls. Their deepest midfielder just kept getting it and turning. Um, second half, as you saw, every time it dropped, clamp, clamp, clamp. And um, we, I think if you watch the game back, we played in their half 70% of the time, second half. So it's just being more aggressive, really, and then just, the, just that last bit, you know, bodies in the box, hitting the target. and. Again, it could have been a different result today. Personal note, back out there, a little run on the side for you now, obviously making an impact with the goals and the influence you're having in the front three. How are you feeling out there? Yeah, again, I mean, look, we haven't done it yet. We've got an objective, and that's to stay in the league, finish with the most points possible. And as a striker, if I can help the club by scoring goals and assisting, then look, I'm all here for it. And hopefully we've got game on Saturday. Hopefully we get something then. How are you finding playing in that front three? Obviously, it's yourself up top. Ox on the right and then Tommy on the left normally, but they can chop and change with likes yeah. of Ryan, things like that. How are you finding it? Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I think um, the manager's given us the freedom now to, when we're in the box, in training, um, just before the games, do what you want, express yourself. If it doesn't come off, he's happy with us because we've expressed ourselves, but we've got the quality to score the goals. You know, it's just being in them positions, so I'm, I'm loving it, I'm enjoying it up there. Um, I'm dropping in, running in behind, and again, I just need more chances now. That's what I need. You know, you look at the likes of yourself scoring against you know the other teams you scored against and that impact you had and yeah. I think on another day these chances go in and you know we look ahead to the next game basically. Yeah, a thousand percent. As a striker, you just need one chance. Um, again, against Bournemouth, I had that one chance put away. Against Yeovil, didn't have as many chances, but whereas I was in good positions, it fell for someone else, Ryan Glover, back post goal. So just waiting on those chances again and again as a striker, you just need one and hopefully that one I can put them away. It felt like with you playing up top and the two either side of you, it felt like we're looking to press more today and attack more from the front. Was that the message for the, today's game? Yeah, I mean, one, athletic front three. You know, Chambers got the legs, I got the legs, Tommy's got the legs. So naturally, we're going to be on the front foot and try to put, if ever they're playing a back four or back three, under pressure. And again, just dropping in the pockets, turning and driving. And that's how, if you look at the goals we've scored, it's because we've been aggressive, especially the last two games. Um, I don't... I think today we could have been more aggressive, but again, we were second half. But, I mean, the boys know if we start like that, then most likely we get an equaliser, if not win the game. Let's see that again in our next game away to Solihull. Another big game, but another opportunity to show what we can do. Yeah, a thousand percent. I think, look, the boys are ready. Again, we've, put, we've given um, Dagenham a tough day today. It wasn't easy for them, um, so credit to the boys. But again, away game we're going in there with hopes of obviously getting the three points we know it's not going to be it's not going to be easy but i think we want it we want it do you know what i mean so i think hopefully we get the three points and we can really push from there so i think if you look at obviously the last game we had away from home it was yeovil you know maybe there was an opportunity over where they were pushing us we've gone and hit them on the counter similar to the easterly game as well so we can do it on these away games and with yourself involved it's an opportunity to show those sort of skills we can do yeah 100 percent. i mean i still feel like we have momentum you know, we've we've not we've lost against a good side today. You know, they're they're a good side who have won a lot of games. They're safe already, and again, we went out there and we gave our all. Um, again, on Saturday, it's not going to be easy, but I still feel like going forward, and we're still confident in the change room. They have scored two good goals, you know. So going forward on Saturday, we'll we're going there with intentions to win, you know. 
How um, important is that? You mentioned momentum and obviously positivity in the changing room with the situation we're in as we look to the next well, final bit of the season. How important is that? Yeah, it's important. I mean, you need momentum as a striker, midfielder, defender, everyone, everyone in the team. I mean, how we get it by scoring goals, winning games, you know, against Shovel, we defended really well and that was our platform to go and score the two goals. Um, so I think momentum is, is vital for us and I still feel like we do have it. Again, we've lost against a good side. So I think the boys know that. We could have defended the goals by 100%. But we play how we play second half. If we start a game like that, especially on Saturday, then I think we'll be all right. And just final question I want to ask you about the atmosphere in the changing room. Obviously, we've lost today, you know, but it's important we're positive and look to respond in the next game. Yeah, I mean, look, the last, um, the last three games, we've got two wins and um, we've lost, obviously, today. So the boys are still confident. We've not gone out there and, and bottled it. You know, second half, you see the fans cheering us on. They didn't, it was 2 0 down, but they, they was quite, most of them stayed, pretty much all of them stayed till the end of the match, you know. So it just goes to show that from where we was, where we are now, we see we're more aggressive, we're more on the front foot. We have nothing to lose as much as everything to lose. So the boys, the boys won it, I won it, and I think generally we are still very much confident that we can get three points on Saturday and continue moving forward. Are you in the shop? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.